Hi there, welcome to Isabel Explains. In this super quick video, I am going to be showing you when you need to flip the sign when you're solving for an inequality. So the first thing I want you to know is that you're going to be solving an inequality the exact same way you would be solving an equation. All right, so all the steps are the same, except that you're going to be flipping the inequality symbol when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number on both sides of the equation. And to illustrate that, I'm just gonna do two super quick exercises. Let's go. So the first one is negative x minus seven is less than or equal to negative 10. Well, the first thing I would do if this was an equation is that I would add seven on both sides. That's gonna give me negative three negative x is less than or equal to negative 3. So in this case, I am going to have to multiply or divide by negative 1 in order for me to get a positive x because I want to find out what x is, not what negative x is, right? So I'm going to divide by negative 1. On both sides, I get x. I have to flip the sign because I divided by a negative number on both sides. So this is going to be greater than or equal to positive 3. In this exercise, where we have 2x plus 6 is greater than 12, we do not have to flip the sign. I'm gonna show you why. I will subtract by 6 on both sides. That will leave me with 2x is greater than 6. And when I divide, I'm just gonna be dividing by positive 2 on both sides. So x is going to be greater than 3. And that's it. That is when you flip the sign when you're solving for an inequality. If you wanna see when to graph them, go ahead and check out my other video. I'll see you next time.